The San Fernando Valley is littered with Middle Eastern restaurants. So where can you find truly authentic Syrian food? Today, we're at the Kobe factory in Syrian Kitchen in Van Nuys. Let's see what they're all about. The San Fernando Valley has a lot to offer. Amazing food, rich history, tons of community events, and amazing people and organizations. I'm Scott Himmelstein with the Scott Himmelstein Group, and this is Eat Live Love San Fernando Valley. Hi, Nermeen. It is an absolute pleasure to be here today. All right, so how did your family decide to open up this restaurant in 2014? Uh, she opened the place um, because she wants everyone to try our best food. And our best food back home is Kubi. Kubi means happiness to us. We make it when there is a wedding. We make it when there is a big gathering and we want you to feel that you're special. So when we make you Kubi, you know you're like really, really special to us. When your mother-in-law came to the U.S. 40 years ago, how did she learn to cook? Everyone like around here help, help each other. So when you ask like your aunt, she helps you, you ask your neighbor, she helps you. And she used to ask everyone. She burned a lot of food, trust me, I know from my, from my husband and from my cousins. But they taught her and she taught me too. All right, so what dishes are we featuring today? We're making jandara. Actually, right now, it's one of our best uh, food here. It's uh, very healthy. It has a uh, very good ingredient, the burgo, the lentil, and the onion. And we're making stuffed intestines. Tell me how you go about making the majra and the intestines. So we're using the lentil, we're using burgo, and we're using the spices. We rinse the lentil because we're gonna use the broth of the lentil to cook the burgo. And we boil the lentil. So it gets like very soft, then we rinse it, we take the burgol, we uh, uh, saute it with a little bit of olive oil, then we add the lentil to it, and then we add the spices, and we let it cook for like at least half an hour. Then uh, after that, we get the onion, we chop it very, very thin, and we saute the onion, and we put it on top of the plate. Paper. That this is a long process. So we get the intestines, we wash it very, very good, and then we get rice, beef, and uh, the spices too. We mix it together, and we have a machine for the, for the intestines. We put the intestines inside the machine, and then we do it one by one. So we make it even, then we cut it, and after that we put it in a big pot. We let it like boil, and we add the spices to it. And you're gonna eat it after. Some people like it fried, some people like it boiled. Either way, I think it's gonna, it would be very delicious. All right, so let's put our masks on and let's go back in the kitchen and let's see how you make everything. I'm excited to try both of these dishes. I right, first with the majara. Uh, let's take a bite of this. You got the caramel onions. You got the uh, you got the lentils, the rice. You got everything in here. And so let's take a look at it. It's interesting how everything just blends together so naturally. You have this rich texture. Um, you have this tanginess. You get just a little kick. Not a lot, just a little kick to add some extra flavor to it. And then on top of it, you got the caramelized onions on top of everything and you mix that with the hummus. And it's just simply a incredibly delicious multitude of uh, flavors. All right, so the second dish is the beef intestine. Um, basically it's like a, looks like, like a sausage. And you know, even before I take a bite of it, you have this cinnamon scented broth which everything obviously is on, on top of. So let's take a bite and see how it, how it tastes. Really good. It's very mild, the, the sausage, um, but yet the broth has some spices in it too. And so, you know, the sausage isn't overwhelming. You take a look at it and to be honest with you, 
you think, wow, this is a very scary dish, but it's actually quite delicious and has a lot of flavor in it. And especially when you combine the cinnamon scented broth with the, uh, with the sausage or like intestines, um, overall it just combines to give you a great flavor. So if you're looking to try something different, unique, authentic, then make sure you come down here to the Kobe factory in Syrian kitchen on the corner of uh, Hazeltine and Oxnard in Van Nuys and let's support these guys. And so if you like this episode, make sure you like, comment, share to all your friends and families to give these guys as much support as we can and hope to see you next time on Eat Live Love, San Fernando Valley.